You know, it's actually been a very long time since I was this hyped to play Fallout 4, and I want to say the last time I was this excited to play this game was way back in November, like five months ago when the game first came out. More than five months, I think, actually, like six months. Uh, but hear me out for a second, guys. I'm really excited for this DLC. I'm super excited, and I honestly don't think that's without good reason. From what we've seen of this DLC via the trailers and also that exploration video that Bethesda uploaded the other day, this DLC has the potential to be really damn good, so I'm super excited to be playing it, and I hope it lives up to the uh, expectations. Uh, but anyways, guys, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the video with the Roshan Eruption, and of course, today I'm bringing you the first episode of my Far Harbor uh, DLC playthrough. I also went ahead and took the liberty of already doing some of the uh, starting off stuff. I listened to the radio signal and talked to Ellie already. So we're actually ready to go ahead and embark. Oops, that is the wrong button. It has been so long since I've played this game, actually. Uh, and I'm, I might be getting the controls a little bit confused because I'm used to my Oblivion controls. Uh, but anyways, uh, we can just go straight to this location right here. The Nakano residence. I guess we'll go to Parsons Creamery first. Uh, we can just go straight there because I already took care of uh, all the starting off stuff. And hopefully go straight off to Far Harbor from there. Um, and oh, also, uh, one more thing I should say is, uh, I'm actually doing this blind, uh, pretty much blind. Other than those first two things I just did right now, I'm doing this completely blind. I have not seen anything of this DLC outside of the trailer and that exploration video. And one of the main reasons for this is, I didn't want my opinion to be sort of, my first opinion of this DLC, my first impressions, to be tainted by outside opinions. So I wanted to do this completely blind, and then I'll upload my review for this DLC once I've completely played through it. Uh, but yeah, let's go and follow the quest marker. Uh, oh, and one final thing here before I forget. Let's go and go to my inventory. Um, that wounding weapon that I got in my playthrough of Automatron, the wounding laser pistol, I completely tricked it out, and this thing is overpowered as fuck. It's so OP. Wounding weapon's already overpowered, but I put the improved automatic barrel on it, which increases the fire rate even more, and I also put an overcharge capacitor, which ups the damage, like, I want to say, like, 1.5 times, or maybe even more. I think I might have actually doubled it. Yeah, it pretty much doubled it. It was doing, like, 18 damage per shot before. Um, the only thing I'm worried about with this weapon is the recoil is going to be ridiculous, which is not great, uh, but we're going to be doing a ton of damage. I was experiencing a weird power armor glitch earlier too, and I actually couldn't get into my power armor, so I'm doing this without power armor. I don't think it'll be too much of a problem, because like I said, I'm not playing on too high a difficulty, um, and we do have this overpowered wooding weapon. Oh, let's actually test this thing out. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of recoil. But that, look, at the, look at that damage. If I can actually freaking aim, this thing will be so easy. Look at that! That's freaking absurd! Like, I just destroyed that death claw, and I wasn't even hitting any of my shots. I barely hit any of those shots. I should definitely up the difficulty. I think I'm on, like, normal right now or something like that. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, the only problem is this thing is gonna burn through fusion cells really fast, and unfortunately I didn't really have too much money, so I wasn't able to buy too many fusion cells, and I was way too lazy to uh, pick up more money. Even though it would have been really easy, and I think I strayed from the place we need to go. Uh, for those of you new to my channel, I get sidetracked very easily, and I just got sidetracked right there. Uh, wait, what the heck? Why does it keep... The quest marker is definitely moving. It's definitely moving. Okay. I think that's it right there. That's probably it. And we're pretty much off the map at this point, too. Which is interesting. All right, here we are. We do, uh, we already do know Damn the it. basics of the Come plot in. here. I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where uh, is my daughter? I don't know. What the heck? Calm down, bro. What? Hello? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. Uh, Valentine's. Oh, I'm gonna be sorry. sarcastic with this motherfucker. I have this habit of running straight towards signs of trouble. Come to think of it, that explains a lot. A good Samaritan? Fine. I'm out of options anyway, if you want to hear about it. My daughter is missing. It all started with this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made okay. contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think yeah, like some people were saying earlier, this is pretty own. much exactly no, like uh, like Point Lookout from Fallout 3, she would have said where, where Nadine something. got lost I and her mother was like, oh, please find Nadine. I can feel it. Find her, please. Although maybe his, maybe their daughter's actually, actually in danger, because Nadine wasn't really in danger. She was perfectly capable of taking care of herself. I'm going to ask for some money. money. Investigations for the please, I need my moolah. Yes! Yes! <laughs> that is what I like to hear, Kenji. 
Uh, more Lord money. Barn. That means travel expenses. We could make it 400. Oh, uh, well. Uh, I'm going to pull a bitch move here and quick save. Uh, and then we're going to try it again. I don't think this is going to succeed. You want to find your daughter, right? I am not going to bother over. Okay. We're, I'm actually going to keep trying that over and over again until I get it right. Uh, so I'll see you guys in one second. 500 cash. Yes, there we That's go. It only took two tries. I usually fail the speech attempts so much because I have, like, the worst luck of all time. I'll, I'll find, find her. her. Don't you worry. You could ask for Thank even you. more money again. The That's such a troll. Upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Will do. I feel like considering the shit we're going to have to go through in Far Harbor, 500 caps even then isn't worth it. Uh, wait, which one's her room? Or yeah, this one's her room. Okay, that should have been obvious. We will take all of that. Take that too. There's got to be some sort of note on the desk. Or so oh, there we go. We'll play that. Yeah, we'll definitely play that. Okay, that's got to be it, I would imagine. Uh, I'll be kind of quiet here as we listen to this. Someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. I feel like I'm missing something. I've got to be missing something, huh? Oh, I was missing something. There we go. Project what are these tapes doing just lying around? Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. What exactly so is she? Is she doing? Is she experimenting with some shit? Maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. Oh. God. I hope I don't have it again tonight. That's so weird. Okay. Is this like some psychic level shit like Mama lamp. Murphy? Yep. It's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Uh, we'll go back down. I th that might be it. I don't know where else there would be any tape, so we'll we'll question them a little bit further here. Mr. Let's ask I'd for like details. More about Kasumi. Might shine a light on. I think it's probably gonna be the same stuff, so I'm gonna kind of skip through this but here. Why would she leave? Sure. Oh, Every tell me what's detail wrong. Is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more, all of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really... So did she run away or was she kidnapped? Because her dad seems to think that Kenji she was kidnapped somehow. Kenji and I machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Okay. Good. Okay, now we need to investigate the boathouse. All right, that was productive. Okay, nice. I'm not sure if we even needed to pick up those tapes, but we definitely do need to investigate the boathouse now. So let's go and go straight there. I would imagine the boathouse is definitely where we need to go because it's a boathouse and Far Harbor is far off in Maine and we need to get there somehow. So probably this is going to involve taking a boat <laughs> of some sort. Uh, okay, wait, where's the quest marker for me? Oh, no, we're here. Oh, grandfather's note, read. If you ever get locked out of the safe, the answer is you're in the boathouse. Picture where the key is. Love, Granddad. Okay, we will try and unlock this. I think, I mean, it's expert lock, so we can definitely do it. Ah, uh, no, almost. You know, I kind of prefer the lock picking style from Oblivion. I like that a lot. Uh, okay. And there is the final holotape. We will take that and we will play it. Project there we go. So I guess maybe we did have to find all those holotapes. I don't really know. Whatever the case is. I never really, matter. really thought about who or what I am, but God, where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group okay. of people up there. They say they're oh open. wow, that's where this is going. Made by the well, we did kind of already know that because there's supposed to be a synth colony over there, as we learned from the trailer. But nonetheless, be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then 
they started asking about me, and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. Is she a synth or I, something? I'm going to go to meet these synths. I, That's I what it seems to be hinting at. Myself. How They've how could her parents... Okay, here's a weird random theory. She's a synth, but her parents sort of adopted her as a synth, if that makes sense. Or had her maid as a synth, and they're somehow involved with the Institute. Let's go and talk to Kenji. Uh, I think, I think that seems to be, that would be the most likely explanation in my opinion, just judging from this, that her parents adopted her as a synth. Because for whatever reason, maybe they couldn't, couldn't make babies, if you know what I mean. That was the worst joke ever. I'm so bad at telling jokes. I've gained a probably, like, I've gained quite a few new subscribers recently. And probably the first thing you guys are probably thinking is, Roshan, you tell horrible jokes. My answer to that is, yes, I do indeed tell horrible jokes. Far I Harbor. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. These people are, well, I guess it's understandable that they're upset because their daughter's gone. You're right, but... Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? Group Your of daughter synths. made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I. So Daisy to think that she's not a synth. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe she's. Maybe. Maybe she's confused. Those like confused. dreams and the stuff from the tape was just really oh, sketch. God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was Obviously thinking. not. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have Kenji, to you're I don't really like you, Kenji. Doctor. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father, and it's built for distance. I'll, I'll take get it. To the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. And here, the payment we discussed. I'll have something more when Kasumi is safely back home. Oh. So I get 500 for just going there. I'm just going to take the money and leave. No, I'm definitely going to go. But anyways, uh, tell the Brotherhood. I will pass on that because fuck the Brotherhood. Um, fuck the system. Uh, but <laughs> also just though, I do not really like the Brotherhood too much in this game. Just not really a fan. I don't know. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to Far Harbor. Yes, we will travel to Far Harbor. This is awesome. I'm super excited to be getting into this. This is an interesting plot. I can't say sincerely... It seems, whoa, hey, there's a cat. There's a black cat. That's not good. That spells bad luck. Uh, I can't necessarily say, it just, this whole, like, her thinking she's a synth plot seems to have risen up a little bit out of nowhere, and there doesn't really seem to be, have been very good motivation, so the setup isn't great, but the plot itself is pretty interesting, so we'll see, we'll see. This game, to be honest, hasn't been the best with storytelling in general. Automatron is a prime example of that. Oh, God, don't even get me started. Uh, not that I hate Automatron. Automatron's a, a, a decent DLC. But the storytelling wasn't that great. Uh, but that's besides the point. Um, this seems interesting so far. I'm going to leave it at that. <clears throat> and supposedly, from what I was seeing from that exploration trailer, the entire, like, sort of city is destroyed. And there's only, like, a very small part that makes it the pier. And that's where all the citizens of Far Harbor reside. Um, but everything else is, like, completely destroyed. And there are going to be tons of crazy, irradiated creatures up there. Which is both good and bad, I suppose. Um, hopefully the uh, wounding automatic laser pistol here can handle it. I should have renamed it. I should have named it something stupid and ridiculous. I should just, I should just name it Moolah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I have a bad habit of saying Moolah when I'm talking about money. Not not because, I don't know, I just think it's kind of funny. It's just like kind of satiric if that makes sense. <laughs> and I just sound like such an idiot when saying it, so I guess uh, someone made fun of me for saying it the first time around And I've been saying it ever since uh, but anyways, I could name it that <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't though because that joke is so bad uh, But nonetheless, I guess we're here. I could also name it redemption, which would sort of fit in with the theme of my channel I thought I said alien for a second. I almost freaked the fuck out <laughs> Yes, I am not one of yours Visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble I will What's destroy you. I will literally destroy you. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. 
We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. You are an ass. Alan, you are an ass. Alan, I wish you were an talk. alien. It belongs to the whole town. And that means Thank you, Avery. Thank welcome. you. Alan, Alan, you can fuck off. I'm flipping Alan off right now. I wish I had my face cam. Tongue. My face cam has been and experiencing Alan's technical difficulties, point. though. <laughs> my technical difficulties have been too lazy to put it in, but... So, uh, what's your business here? Um, I'm looking for Kasumi. from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here, all right. That's good to hear. Damn it. Uh-oh. Mariners ain't coming. Oh shit. We're already starting with this? Are you kidding me, man? Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. Okay, uh I don't really have any good close range weapons on me right now. Um I actually I uh, or excuse me, long range weapons on me right now. I do have a good close range weapon. I was trying to say I only have close range weapons. Um I only have the fifty cal, but I only have like eleven shots with it, so. Let's pull that out. Okay, so like what is going on? Uh, back to that face cam issue though, I was kidding about- I was sort of kidding about being too lazy. The reason why I don't include a face cam in my videos anymore is because I can either choose between- oh. Nope, never mind. Uh, I can either choose between getting up more videos or putting a face cam in, and I'd rather just get up, like, get- get up, uh, episodes of this as- as quickly as I can, you know? Uh, what is that off in the distance? Uh, gulpers. I cannot believe I just missed that shot. I'm just gonna stick to using bats, to be honest. Uh, we will hit you in the... And we'll hit you in the belly. Yeah. We'll hit you in the belly. Hopefully those connect. There we go, okay. I probably shouldn't be using this weapon. The re- Jesus! How did a grenade hit me? Don't tell me those things are throwing grenades. I do not believe that. Get out of my way! I got stuck behind that person. That's ridiculous. Uh... Okay. How am I getting hit by grenades? Are the townsfolk retarded? They probably are retarded. Like, legitimately. Okay, I'm just gonna let the thing die, because it's basically almost dead. We will shoot you, though. Dang it, okay. This thing has horrible recoil. I really need to get that recoil compensating stock. Okay, we're actually just gonna rush out here. I'm really not too afraid of these things. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm gonna try and conserve some ammo here. Yeah, the wounding effect this just does so much damage, man. It's absolutely absurd. Uh, okay, you're gonna die. There we go, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, wow. That wasn't too bad. I'm just, I'm worried about running out of ammo with this thing, which is ridiculous because I'm using fusion cells. Also, this character's a very low level, which doesn't help. Uh, we're gonna chuck some grenades here. Okay, wait, am I chucking... What am I chucking? Wait, let me check that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm throwing. I didn't know what I had equipped. Don't tell me I had my flare things equipped. Uh, we'll, we will equip that. Uh, yes, okay. And now we're going to throw frag grenades. Because frag grenades are definitely going to be a lot more helpful than, um, than whatever I was just throwing. Alright. And also we can conserve ammo with the, with the frag grenades. Oh my goodness, that did so much fucking damage. Uh, Jesus, I'm playing on normal difficulty, man. I'm not playing on freaking survival. Uh, let's stim pack, actually. Okay. Wow, that was, we'll take, we will take all that, I guess. I don't really see why I'm taking it, though, on second thought. Yeah, there's really any point. Oh, we will take all that, though, because there's some junk material. Nope, okay, okay. Uh, let's get back to business. Avery, we need to talk. And now you see what we're up against. Yes, that was scary. The creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. Wow! Thank you, Avery. Fuck you, Alan. I appreciate it. If you manage it's to survive thrive. despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat. Oh came, my god. This guy literally has the IQ of a fucking wolf, come, dude. And it all goes Not even a wolf, a fucking bacteria. 
No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Can back to business. Back to business. Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide, old Longfellow. Ah, I remember no this guy from the, the trailer. Frog like him, but uh, word of warning: he's a bit of an acquired taste. Fair. Thanks Thank you for the tip. Help. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar, the last plank. And uh, please lend a hand around town if you're able, even if it's slapped away. People like the Mariner. Okay, and I can do that. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Hey guys, so unfortunately this episode actually ended up getting a little bit too long. So I ended up having to split it up into two smaller episodes as opposed to one really long episode. Uh, so unfortunately that is actually going to do it for this first episode of the Far Harbor playthrough. I'm enjoying this DLC quite a bit so far. I think the atmosphere is really good. I think the environment, the landscape in general is really cool. The storytelling isn't great at times, but it's not horrendous. There's some really interesting uh, plot lines going on here. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on this DLC thus far, and I will see you in my next video.